You know you're watching Paul Thomas Anderson if you meet characters out of time and an America in transition. PTA often sets his films during periods of upheaval, and he gives us characters who are alienated by these transitional periods. People who feel like they've been left behind during formative moments in American culture. In Boogie Nights, the 80s usher in the home video camera, so Jack Horner's professional quality porn becomes obsolete. Goodbye, 1979. Hello, 1980. Inherent Vice's Doc Sportello is still a hippie in the 70s, when it's no longer fashionable to be one. Everything's gone from groovy to where are you at, man? Suggesting a high level of fear or discomfort with the way things are headed. The master's Freddie Quell is a World War II vet who feels like his country has moved on without him. So Anderson's films show us growing pains, both communal and personal, to reveal deeper insights about how our culture has been formed. It's a sneaky period piece. Many of Anderson's films are period films, but we don't notice this too much. They aren't what we tend to think of when we think period piece. He chooses very specific slices of time and space, ones that haven't actually been extensively visited or dramatized on screen. And maybe the biggest reason his films don't feel typically period is the music. His later films like The Master, There Will Be Blood, Inherent Vice, and Phantom Thread feature avant-garde tracks by Radiohead's Johnny Greenwood. So the music gives the vision a modern or out-of-time feel. We get expressive, syncopated scores that give us a window into the inner turmoil Anderson's characters are feeling. Greenwood's jumpy, syncopated score for the master feels out of joint with the images. So the music makes us feel tense and uneasy. It's telling us something is deeply wrong with Freddy. In Punch Drunk Love, John Bryan's score, mixed with songs taken from Robert Altman's Popeye, create a charming but nervous mood that captures how this is different from your average love story. Until the day I die, I won't know why I knew he needed me. It looks at the impact of religion. Anderson is a humanist. His focus isn't what any religion preaches, but how belief influences his characters. Freddie joins the cause, an analog for Scientology, and he finds meaning in his life, even though the religion behind the cause is clearly a hoax. You've also said that these methods, cause methods, can cure leukemia, according to your book. And Some forms said. of leukemia. Mm -hmm. In being able to access past lives, we are able to treat illnesses that may have started back thousands, even trillions of years. In The Master or There Will Be Blood, Anderson shows the dark sides of religions too and services our skepticism. The preacher in There Will Be Blood strikes us as an over-the-top performer, but he's the one who forces Daniel to reckon with his dark past. Say it, say it. I've abandoned my child. Say it louder, say it louder. I've abandoned my child! So Anderson seems to be saying that belief, whether based in fact or fiction, can help people transcend a more basic existence. Man is not an animal. We are not a part of the animal kingdom. And even if the rituals may be artificial or phony, truth can still emerge. There's a dynamic camera. PTA likes to have his camera moving in most of his shots. We can see his flair for showy camera movements, especially in his earlier films. Take the iconic opening of Boogie Nights and this quick dolly in from Magnolia. It's full of frantic energy that draws attention to itself. In his later work, we get a more deliberate, subtle moving camera. So compare that shot from Magnolia to this dolly in from 2014's Inherent Vice. It's much slower and contemplative. PTA now seems more focused on composition and movement within the frame. And of course, Anderson is known for his visual prowess. His movies look like oil paintings. PTA is known for his extensive knowledge of the technical side of cinematography. A running theme in Anderson's stories is that human connection is the one thing that helps us rise to a higher level of existence. Fame or financial success are unfulfilling distractions. Anderson rejects the rugged individualism that's celebrated in many classic American films. In There Will Be Blood, we see what happens when individualism goes unchecked. 
Daniel's greed and obsession prevent him from caring for his adopted son. In the end, PTA's films champion compassion and human bonds, and his films often give us a surrogate family. Anderson's ensemble casts show the dynamics of surrogate families in all their love and weirdness. Makeshift families give the characters purpose and belonging. By the end of the movie, they tend to fracture or deteriorate, but PTA tells us that there has been value in that connection. And in a lot of his stories, the goal seems to be accepting ourselves. Anderson's characters often lie about who they are, especially to themselves. In Magnolia, Frank T.J. Mackey tries to forget a painful past by lying about his father's death and about going to college at Berkeley. See, I had some trouble locating your school records at um, UCLA and uh, Berkeley. And uh, it's your name change. Why would you lie, Frank? In The Master, Lancaster asks a series of rapid-fire questions. And Freddy lies at first, but the truth pours out of him uncontrollably. Where's your father? Dead. How did he die? Drunk. Where's your mother? Where's your mother? Bloody bad. Anderson digs into the lies that we tell ourselves to cope with the pain of reality. And in the end, his films argue that before we can do anything else worthwhile, we have to face the truth and accept ourselves for who we really are. I have a love in my life. It makes me stronger than anything you can imagine. I would say that's that mattress, man. Thanks for watching, and if you like our videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Just click this link here. We spend a lot of time making these videos, and every little bit helps. And of course, the very best thing you can do is subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our latest videos.